One of the shortfalls for the ANOVA technique is that although it tells us that at least one of the sample means are not the same, it does not tell us which one it is. To answer that shortfall, we use what is called a post hoc test. The post hoc test we will use is known as the Sheffy test. This test compares the means two at a time using all possible combinations. For example, if there are three samples, the following comparison must be done between sample 1 and sample 2, between mean of sample 2 and mean of sample 3, and between mean of sample 1 versus mean of sample 3. Let's find out which one of our strawberry plants yield a significantly different average number of strawberries. Here are the values that we will need to actually find this out. The first thing we must establish is the critical F value for a Sheffe test. This is simply obtained by taking our ANOVA critical F value and multiplying it by K minus 1, which is the number of samples minus 1. So in our example, our critical F value for a Sheffe test would be 3.35 times 3 minus 1 for a total of 6.70. At all times, if your calculated F is greater than your critical value, then there is a significant difference between the two sample means. The second thing to do is to calculate all F values for all pair of samples. Remember that we have three pairs of means to compare, so here we go. Here is the equation to calculate your Sheffe values. Remember you must do this for every pair of means that you have. The Sheffe test is based on F values. The numerator is simply to first calculate the difference between the means of your samples and then square that result. To get the denominator, you take the within group variance that you've calculated when doing the ANOVA and you multiply that by 1 over your first sample n plus 1 over the second sample n. Here are the values for the first two samples. By plugging in the values in the equation, we obtain an f for these two samples of 2.18. This value is lower than our critical F, so we can say that there is no difference between the means of sample 1 and the mean of sample 2. Let's go on. We'll continue with sample 2 and sample 3. Because our n's are equal, the only thing that changes in the equation is the values of the means. The F value between sample 2 and sample 3 is of 2.49, which is also inferior to a critical value, so there is no difference between sample 2 and sample 3. Our last verification is between sample 1 and sample 3. Again, our n's are equal, so the only thing that changes in the equations are the means. The F value between sample 1 and sample 3 is of 9.32. This is actually higher than our critical value, so there is a significant difference between sample 1 and sample 3. Let's recap this. There is no significant difference between the first two strawberry varieties. There is no significant difference between the second and the third variety. There is a significant difference between the first and the third variety. As such, we can only state that the only significant difference lies between variety 1 and variety 3. So if you want to choose which variety... Um, now it's your turn. Pause the video and find if, at a 0 0.05 significance level, one or more of these groups have a distinct lab result mean. There are actually two significant differences between group 1 and group 3, as well as between group 2 and group 3.